Right, we are still on lockdown. What are we doing today, George? We are going to do how to change the rear view camera on there. Now, well, I was getting a message up on my front dash screen. When I selected reverse, I didn't get the reverse image. I just had the audio system up. And on my speedo, the little display in the middle of my speedo instruments there said camera system fault. So I thought, not a problem. I've got a warehouse full of new cameras. I'll fit a new camera. So I fitted the new camera. So I look like I know what I'm doing. So I should look good now. But then I just put the old one back in to show you the error. I put the old one back in. And guess what? It works. So maybe they have a problem on these cars with connections. So I'll show you how to replace the camera. But you might be as well just to have a look. Two reasons. One, you can replug it and try it. Secondly, there are two different types of camera. One of them is super expensive, one of them is super cheap. So depending what year your car is, you'll have, so it might be worth before you go going off buying a camera, have a look which one it is. Right, now I have, we need to remove this strip here because that houses the camera. Now I've done a separate video on that and if you do the pointy thing, George, we'll, we'll put it there. But I'll talk you through it super quickly just in case you don't wanna. Basically there is a trim panel here that pulls down. It's got some metal spring clips here. It's got these popper clips. And you just have to be brave, work it, pull it down. Then there are four holes here. Now you can see two of the studs here. Look, you see these studs here? So you've got one there and one there. And then you've got another two that are hidden in these holes here. One there and one there. And they've got 10, 10 millimeter socket nuts on there that you've got to do. Right, when you've done that, you are then in a position where with one of these little trim tools here, <laughs> You can get in on the side here. I'll show you on the other side as well. We're struggling with the sun, aren't we, George, with our videos at that? You can get in there. Mine's been off a few times, so yours might be a bit harder than that. And it, it releases these clips here. If you just have a look here, George. You've got this clip here and that clip there. All right, there's no clips in the middle because we've got the bolts in the middle. So it's got clip, clip, bolt, 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 bolt. And then, obviously, on this side again, we've got the clip. So I've got to get through the same on here, get in that little gap there, and just now when I get this last clip off, the whole thing's going to be loose. So I need to be a little bit careful. There. Now you can sort of pull it out and lie it down a bit. Now you might want to be careful because as you lie it down, it might scratch your paint. So what I decided to do was to look professional. I got a couple of old rags here. I'm just gonna wrap that around there. He says, scratching the other end. And also, I've got one for this other end here. Just to stop it all. Right, but I don't want to cover where the camera is in the middle there. Right, so I'm a little happier now. So this is where your camera is located. Now, you'll notice I've got this flat connector with six wires. Now, to get this out, we've got to get that little bit there. Oh, there's my little trim tool. And you can just get in there. And you've got to release that. I'm going to put my finger under there. See where I'm... Just to try and lever it out of it. And then I think... If I get this right, there you go. Right, see that? Releases that. So look how that fits in. It's got these two little pins at the bottom here that fit in two little grooves in there and then when you put it back in you dock that in and it just clips into place now that has got the camera loose now that's all so i'm going to push on the camera lens from the other side and i should better pop it out like, like so okay and then to remove the connector all right it's one of these you press it at the back there you see it lifts that there and then i've got to give it a pull i don't want to pull too fiercely because I, I don't want this whole rear thing to go there you go so that is the camera. So this is, if you've got one that, with a different type of connector, they're the expensive one. This is the cheap one. If you've got this camera, you're in luck. Okay, so a new one. Here's the new one. We've got these on our website. That's our part number. But the Land Rover part number is there. Okay, so that's the Land Rover part number. Massive box inside, rattling around. You'll have one of these. Um, so you can fit the new one there. They all look the same sort of a, a thing. Whoop. Okay. Um, we're going to fit the old one back on because for some reason it's happy again now. Um, 
and it may just be one of these connections in here um might have just been a bit but they, they don't oh yeah look look george can you look in there can you see how three of them are correct there's the one on this end and these other two have got a bit of it's not really focusing is it not really focusing there you go you got it can you see those middle two have got like a white powdery thing on them yeah so i think it's just poor connection i think they've got some oxidization on there now you could clean that up i think just just give it a little a small file let's grab a small file see if we can clean that up so yeah i'm going to give this a clean um now you can buy contact cleaner which is a sort of spray thing i've just got a little file there i'm just going to clean up those pins but i think that's what's happened i think they're not that it's not that weatherproof you're struggling to focus there George. yeah you're trying your best so I think, I think, and there's a little bit of sort of um, coppery colour there on the inside case. Right, enough waffling. Let's get that back together. All right. I guess we could spray some sort of a, some sort of a cleaner on there to stop it corroding some more. Um, so I don't think I'm going to be the only one that has this problem. So I think most, nine times out of ten, I reckon you're going to get away with, a, with cleaning that. So make sure that's locked into position. And then get those two bottom two tabs. It goes that way out. He's, he's sort of wriggling out. Oh, let's get that in. There we go. And then that just clips into place. Right, now one thing is, let's un unwrap this. One thing is the pain when you do this. I seem to have a problem with this. When I go to line it up, this wire here seems to want a catch on the... It doesn't want to seem to stay. You see how it's starting to ride up there? Right. It, needs to, it needs to come back over here. But if you're not careful, it gets... It starts to get stuck in the... You need to keep it brushed down. Otherwise, when you, you you'll see it stuck in here after you... Right. There we go. Put that all back together. Is he in nice and tight? Yeah, he's not trapped there. That's it. We'll get that all bolted back up. But hopefully that'll help someone with the rear camera not working. 